Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel always with you Nishar Fawi. In this video I'm going to share with you two tips and one tool to make you better at refactoring. Let's get started. So before starting I have a refactoring course for legacy projects specifically and currently it is on 35% off. Okay, so you can check the code promo in the description below. This course is use case driven in which we are going to take a code and then convert it and apply certain refactoring techniques. All right, so the course includes many techniques and many ideas that might help you, so you can check it. Also, I have a free preview for the first testing chapter. You can check it if you want to take a look. And then if you decide to buy it, the code promo in the description below. So let's get back to the video. So refactoring is the act of changing the code structure without altering the visual behavior. Reason to do that, there are many reasons, improving the performance, having a good structure to add or remove features, and like many stuff. Like this is the main idea for refactoring. Now how to get better at refactoring? There are two tips actually I often use, I often employ. So the first tip is that whenever you are going to implement a new feature, solve a bug, or like do anything to the code base, try to do something good for the code base. There is also another variation of this rule, which is make the code better than you found. That's simple. And this can be anything like renaming function, renaming variable, for example, try to split up function, move things from one place to another, just do good act for the code, okay? This behavior, you can try to cultivate this one. For example, you can go to the data source, try to see here what thing you can make better because here is the thing we are going to invest time whenever we are adding feature removing feature for example fixing a bug we are going to read some code right and whenever you read the code you are going to understand and sometimes you are going to see that okay and now i understand it how i can transfer this understanding to the next developer who is going to read this code after you so this is the idea this is the key investment like try to make the code better for the next developer so if you took some time to understand it and grasp it, try to make it better for the next developer. This includes many stuff and here for one rule I try to always use, which is the cyclomatic complexity. Here I'm using a plugin, look, many people are asking me about this plugin, which is called Complexity. It's a plugin, a good plugin called Complexity. Simply it's going to show you like there are many metrics to the code on what does it mean a good code. Cyclomatic complexity is one of the best one like I ever worked with. So always try to see what is the cyclomatic complexity. You can with it organize the code to make it much better for understanding. And then you can swap different functions, try to add better functions, split the code base and similar stuff. Like this is the first step and this is the first First rule, all right? So always try to invest your understanding because you already wasted the time. So try to make that waste not wasted, okay? So that's the first idea. The second tip I use often is to try to make a to-do list or a note, like in your Notion, in your, for example, Microsoft to-do, you can create a list and call it refactoring list, okay? Because here's the thing. Sometimes when you are working, you are not going to refactor everything. For example, variable, you can rename it, put mark, I can do it like that, for example, this is fine. But there are some changes that are kind of bigger and you can't do it in the current implementation for your feature or fixing the bug. So what you need to do always, because here's the thing, you are giving always to read code. That's what we do as developer. We read code more than we write code, okay? So here is the thing. Always, whenever you spot something that you want to refactor, just add it to your refactoring list, okay? So here, for example, I can go to this serializer or I can go to this view model and I can see like almost everything is good here actually, but let's pretend that I want to make this one very good because I noted that I can refactor it for better performance, for better structure, like anything, okay? So try to make a note in your to-do list. For example, or your Notion, you can create a document for that. And every time, whenever you have some time, for example, the starting of the day, you want to do something good to the code base, you can create such pull requests in which you are telling how this can improve the code base into something. Now, it isn't just about improving the code. For example, you can improve the code coverage, can create tests, you can see, for example, this view model doesn't have tests, you can put it in your refactoring list, even though it's not refactoring, but this is good act for the code base, okay? It means that we are covering this code with the tests, all right? So these are the two main tips and the tool. The tool, as I said, is just cyclomatic complexity. Just pay attention to cyclomatic complexity for your compose function, for your view models, activities, all your classes. So this metric will tell you whether the code is too complex or little complex, so we can act on it. And then every time, whenever you are trying to implement something, try to do good act like reducing complexity via some manner, renaming functions, splitting function, whatever you like, adding tests and stuff like that. 
That's the first one. And the second is that every time you are going to encounter many things, the code base that you want to improve, just make a to-do list for that so that you don't distract yourself with many things. Create a to-do list on your Notion or your Microsoft to-do or whatever, or your Keep on Google, right? And then put everything you want to refactor. And every time, whenever you have the time, for example, at the start of the day, at the end of the day, like you can create a habit for that. So that way you can improve the code base and also improve your skills for refactoring. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.